All right, guys, it's Mr. Spence here. I hope you're doing well. The sun is shining and the birds are tweeting. It's a lovely day to be outside. I hope you're all taking plenty of movement breaks in between you, show my homework stuff, just to keep yourself nice and fresh and, uh, and just to make the most of this lovely weather. So, it's, uh, it's food week this week, which is great. Any excuse for a good cook up, as you know, I will take. So I'm quite excited about this week. I'm gonna be doing some eggs and some bread and some other bits and bobs. It should be quite fun. Um, the tasks are all going to go up and show my homework. Some of them practical, which are going to involve you doing very similar things to me, and some of them more research-based, and some that might seem completely offbeat, but they're all relevant, okay, to this week's work. So um, make sure that you fully read the explanation on there to get a good gist of what you're supposed to do. Um, some great work's been coming in. The other series provided some fantastic information, some great research projects actually, so well done for those. They're just as valuable as, uh, as doing the practical tasks, so keep those coming in, well done. Um, I am going to go and get a fire going, and I'm going to get all my ingredients ready, and, uh, and we'll get cooking. Nice one. Right guys, the first thing we're going to cook is an egg baked inside a pepper. Okay, it's a great way to cook because the pepper actually acts as our saucepan. This is really heat resistant and we're going to crack the egg inside here and put this straight into the coals and that's going to create loads of heat and loads of steam inside and it's actually going to bake and steam the egg. So it's a really lovely way to do that. To do that, I'm going to use two eggs, two peppers and some peppercorns. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is very carefully chop the tops off the peppers okay I'm using that claw technique that you've looked at in food tech just to gently tease around I want to leave the lid of the pepper intact because I'm going to use that aren't I to keep the steam in so I'm just going to gently pull and twist that off okay so I'm going to put this to one side because that's going to be my lid and I'm just going to hollow out the inside of this remember with a knife we always work away from ourselves. If you are going to choose the practical task and have a go at this, and you don't feel comfy with a knife, just get an adult to help, all right? I've done this very carefully so I don't make any holes in the pepper, because obviously if we do make holes, when we crack the egg inside, it's going to leak out. Okay. I'm happy with that. The pepper's empty, there's no holes in there, and it's nice and clean, ready to go. So I've got the base of my pepper, and I've got my lid. Okay guys, the next step is to really carefully crack my egg inside my pepper. I want to try and keep the yolk intact, okay? So I want a nice runny yolk as that comes out. So I'm going to very carefully and gently break that open so it sits inside. Brilliant, and that yolk's still intact. So if we look at that, I've got my yolk inside. Just carefully grinding some pepper. And I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. I like the pepper nice and coarse. Load of flavour in there. Fantastic. Okay, the lid can go on and that is ready to sit in the embers of the fire. So as you can see guys the pepper's just sat nice in the embers, the lid's on and that egg should start to bake and to steam inside. So if you're going to do this at home in the kitchen, all you need to do is pop it in the oven at 180 degrees for about 15 minutes and that will do the same thing. Right guys, I'm going to make a dough for this bread. It's quite an interesting dough this one and it's made with yoghurt, which is quite cool. So to do this at home, you'll just need some yoghurt and some self-raising flour. So the self-raising flour is going to give it its rise and the yoghurt is going to really help to bind it nicely. So per person you need a big heaped tablespoon of yoghurt. I'm going to make enough one piece of bread here. Okay, so I've got a nice big tablespoon in there. All right, and then what I'm going to do is slowly add flour to that and stir it until it turns to a consistency or to a feeling that's similar to Play-Doh, okay? So 
So what we've got here guys is a lovely consistency for our dough. It's a bit like a play-doh. Okay, it's not too dry, so it's not leaving crumbs behind and it's not too wet, but it's all sticking to the spoon. There we go, I'm gonna go and check on that pepper. Roll this flat, make a grill and get this cooking too. Oh, nice. It's been on there for about five minutes. It's starting to cook nicely. That white's turning, isn't it? And the bottom of that pepper looks like it's getting nice and crispy too. Okay, guys. So what I've got here is a lovely ball of dough. It's rested for another few minutes and uh, it's not sticking to my hands, which is great. I've been to clean my hands again. I've dried them thoroughly because any other water on my hands would, uh, would make that stick again, wouldn't it? All I've done is I've taken the ball and I'm just slowly rotating it in my hands, as you can see, right? I'm working quickly so it doesn't stick and I'm gonna keep working that out until it's about half a centimetre thick okay so as thick as two one pound coins stacked up on top of each other as thick as a few pieces of cardboard stacked on top of each other about half as thick as your little finger all right and that is ready to cook okay so it's nice and flat it's nice and even all right, I've made myself a little green grill down by the fire that I'm just going to lay this across and uh, I'm going to get this cooking. So what you can see there guys is the pepper in the background nicely cooking away and our green grill which is just made up of three strands of green wood. All right, they're not going to burn are they? I've got a lovely bed of embers underneath there and I'm just going to lay this nicely on top of that. Like so. Brilliant. Right, they're both cooking away nicely. In a moment, I'm gonna turn that bread over, see what it looks like. I'll check on the pepper again, and I'll see where we're at. This bread's also really nice to do in the kitchen at home. So if you are gonna choose that task from Show My Homework, then uh, just do everything up to the uh, dough stage, get your dough into a nice flat piece, and then just put it in the frying pan. A bit of butter, a bit of oil is nice just to get it going to. Uh, just turn it over when it starts to crispen on the edges and um, I'd say you're probably looking at about three minutes each side. So I've just turned my bread over, it's looking good. Needs another three or four minutes in the other side. And then uh, we're getting there. So have a look at that pepper. Oh lovely, that's looking great too. All right guys, the pepper's off. Looks lovely and cooked inside. The edges are nice and soft too, which is brilliant. The bread's off too. And uh, I'm ready to go. My bread's cut really nicely. Let's see what this egg looks like. I'm going to go straight through the middle, I think. Oh, look at that. The yolks are a little cooked, but not bad. Great, guys. That's a nice little lunch. We've got some carbohydrates. We've got some protein in the egg. We've got some fibre and some good vitamins and minerals in our pepper. Uh, not a bad little lunch. So, the tasks are on show my homework. Um, like I said, there's some practical ones, there are some research-based ones, and there's some that we all think, well, that's way off beat, but actually, in fact, it's all very relevant. So, um, good luck, and uh, I hope to see you all soon. See ya. Mmm, that's lovely. Cheers.